Okay, so we're going to do a problem from the 2004 Calculus AB test, and it's question one. So this question says, traffic flow is defined as the rate at which cars pass through an intersection, measured in cars per minute. The traffic flow at a particular intersection is modeled by the function f, defined by f of t equals 82 plus 4 sine of t over 2, for 0 is less than or equal to t, which is less than or equal to 30, where f of t is measured in cars per minute and t is measured in minutes. Okay, so for part A, it's asking to the nearest whole number how many cars pa pass through the intersection over the 30 minute period. So, <coughs> Since it's asking for the number of cars, we're going to want to take the integral of function f of x. So for a, we want to do 0, 30. So let's go ahead and put the function f of x into the calculator for y1. So 82 plus 4 sine of x over 2. All right, so now we'll use a math function to find the value of this. Which is equal to 2,474.0000. And it wants the approximate value, so the official answer is going to be 2,474 cars. Alright, so for part B, now we're trying to, it's asking, is the traffic flow increasing or decreasing at t equals 7? And we have to give a reason for our answer. So, since it's asking about the flow of the traffic, we're going to want to take the derivative of f of x since that's the rate. So we're going to want f prime of 7. So <clears throat> the derivative of f of x is 4 cosine. And I'll plug in 7. So 4 cosine of 7 over 2 times 1 half. And that is equal to negative 1.8729 cars per minute squared. And because that's a negative number, we know that the traffic flow is going to be decreasing at t equals 7, so we'll just write that. Okay, so now to part C. The part C is asking what is the average value of the traffic flow over the time interval 10 is less than or equal to t, which is less than or equal to 15. And we need to indicate units of measure. So since it's asking the average, the, for the average value of traffic flow, we're going to take the integral of f of t between 10 and 15, so. And we can just plug that into the calculator since we already put in uh, f of x for y of sub one. So we'll put 15 as a lower limit, or sorry, 10 as a lower limit, and 15 as the upper limit. limit. <laughs> and y of one. And that gives us 409, well, 409.4962 cars. And since it's asking for the average, we need to divide it by 5, since um, there's 5 minutes from 10 to 15. So divide by 5 minutes. And that gives us an average car flow of 81.9. Oh, 
cars per minute. Okay, so for part D, <clears throat> it's asking what the average rate of change of the traffic flow over the time interval 10 to 15 is, and we need to indicate the units of measure. So for this one, we can just use um, f of t. We don't have to use the integral or the derivative. So we're going to first find f of 10, which equals 78.164 and f of 15, which equals 85.752. And these are both in cars per minute. So from since we're finding the average rate of change, we need to find the difference between f of 15 and f of 10 and divide that by 15 minus 10. So we're going to do 85.752 minus 78.164, and these are both in cars per minute, over 15 minus 10. And this is in minutes. And I'll put the label up here, cars per minute. And that is going to give us 1.5176 cars per minute squared, which is our final answer. And that's how you solve uh, question one from the AP Calculus 2004 test.